Hey everybody, doing an M14 pre-release draft. <laughs> Open to Johnny, win the game. Uh, actually, it's probably only worth like 10 or something. But uh, yeah, so I opened to Johnny. Uh, if the, the uh, Johnny wasn't here, I would take Pacifism. I think the next one is Deadly Recluse, and then Corrupt maybe? No, Liturgy of Blood. I would probably take Liturgy of Blood over Corrupt. Uh, yeah, but just a Johnny, win the game. I'm going to pause it and see how much that's worth. Well, it's only worth like seven, but that's okay. Uh, so the best card in the pack is Pacifism. The next best card in the pack is Elvish Mystic, and the rest of the pack is terrible. Oh no, uh, Blightcaster is good in the right deck, Mark of the Vampire is okay, Blood Baron's fine. Sentinel Sliver is good in Sentinels, but Pacifism is Pacifism. It goes with a Johnny, because uh, they're both white. Elvish Mystic is good. It's probably the most expensive common in this set. Like if you're if you're drafting for money, uh, definitely draft all the Elvish things. You, the land war elves you can get. Obviously, the most expensive uncommon is the Juder. The Juder, who is young pyromancer. Uh, what's in here? Master of Diversions, I think, is a good card. It looks good in an aggressive deck. Whenever it attacks, you tap a creature. Uh, Illusionary Armor is probably good, too, since you're usually going to get one hit out of it, and you only lose the enchantment if it becomes targeted. Uh, these are two good black cards, but I don't know how I feel about black-white. I don't. I think I'm just going to take the good... Like, I, the cock trace is really good. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take the master. But I'm going to keep in mind that we've seen some good black cards. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, Ring of Three Wishes. Huh, that's a mythic. It's a casual mythic. But it's still a mythic at release time. Uh, I can probably get a ticket for it, which is interesting. Uh, Gnawing Zombie's okay. Death Gaze Cockatrice is probably the best card in the pack. There's also a Root Walla, which is really good. Um, Spore Mound is okay. I think Root Walla's better. This card's crap. This card's crap. This card is not good unless you have the support for it. Oh, that's not true. It's a grizzly bear anyways. It, it, actually, yeah. Okay, never mind. This card's good. But Ruwal is probably better. Uh, I'm just going to take the Mythic. Just because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a savage rare drafter. Okay, so... It's clear the black is very, very open. Uh, I'm going to have to move into it now. I'm probably going to have a crappy second pack. But I should have a good first pack. Uh, I could take Giant Spider. But I'm going to take this Child of the Night. And yeah... Uh, I don't like... Oh, Liturgy of Blood? Yeah. Uh, actually, why is Messenger Drake still here? So yeah, there's a Voracious Worm. I don't really want this Divine Favor. If I had, like, three Oromancers or something, I would. But I'm just gonna take the Removal Spell. Uh... All these cards are not so great. No. Vampire Warlord isn't even that good. I don't know. Water Servant's the best card in the pack. Should I take the Vampire Warlord? Do I just give up on white? Haven't really seen any good white cards. I don't know. I'll take the Vampire Warlord. Uh, Bubbling Cauldron. Divine Favor. The 15th Divine Favor we've seen. Uh, is Mind Rock good in this format? Yeah, I read somewhere that it was. Or I could take the Bubbling Cauldron. Goes really good with those two worms we passed. Or there's a Seacoast Drake. I'm not sure. I don't think white is open. It might be blue and black that are open. But I th I'm sure black is open, so I'm going to take that. Uh, what came back? Enchant Creature. That's... I would... Don't like that. Alter's Reap is pretty good. Oh, Undead Minotaur? 
That's a good three drop. It's not great once the fours come out. I don't I don't like this card. It's No, I don't I don't like this card. Alter's Reap. I think I need more creatures, so Whoa, Sentinel Sliver? Over Blood Baron, yeah. I think because I don't I'm not red, so I'm not gonna get the combo of active treason and all the sack outlets. So this goes down. So I just want the Sentinel Sliver. Ooh, Nightwing Shade? Yeah! That's a late essence scatter too. Another undead Minotaur. So so you see so you see black is open. I don't know if white is. It's hard to tell. It might have just been really bad packs, but black and blue seem pretty open still, so I might want to look out for that. Like in retrospect, from that this point, I'm thinking I should have been in blue. But I don't know when I should have missed when I missed that signal. Uh Pillarfield Ox isn't great. Dawn Strike Paladin isn't great. One mana for Vigilance and Lifelink, I guess that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna cut the negate because it counters my Ajani. What does this do? I don't even know what this does. I just know it's a mythic planeswalker. Put a counter. Yeah, that's good. Double strike flying and some crazy ultimate that you win the game. Yeah. Well, actually, no. You might not even win the game with that. Huh. Uh, yeah. Don't need any lands. Already have 200 of each or something like that. Well, that's not true. That's not true. I'm talking like... I already have 25,000 basic lands on some account I have. Don't need more. Alright, good opens. Good opens. I don't even know. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, the Hydra. Oh, Hunted Plate Mail? That's okay. Uh, oh, there's an Oromancer. Violet Poison is terrible. Imp New Impulse, probably not good. That's a good card, but it's green. That's a good card, but it's blue. I think I'm going to rare draft. I can probably sell it for like 50 cents or a dollar. Uh, in constructed formats past, it would be a very good card. Right now, it's plus four, plus four, or it's a creature. It's pretty good. Uh, or I could take the Oromancer. I guess if I would have picked up all those... Uh, stupid things, I would have... It'd be better. Or th there's the Tenacious Dead, which combos with that thing that I passed, that I forgot about. But I took a two-drop over it, so I'm just going to take the Haunted Plate Mail. Yeah. Silence, terrible. Don't want it. Bulk rare, it'll go down to zero, and wow, that's a lot of black cards. Okay, this is a very good card, the Behemoth. Uh, Fire Shrieker is a pretty good card, too. But, I'm going to table a black card or a white card from here. Not, not this, not this. I'm going to take the Death Grays and hope I get back any of the other black cards. Interesting. Door of Destinies. Um, I could take it. I could probably get... I don't know. I don't know. I could probably get one for it, but I'd have to sell it really soon, because it's going to go down. I think I'm not going to take that. Um, Sentinel Sliver or Blood Baron is interesting. I'm not going to get any Sliver Synergy... Because uh, I'm black, and no, oh, I could get the rare one, I guess. Uh, there's Griffin Sentinel. It's not so great. I don't. Miniature Abomination is just gigantic. It's really hard to kill. But I hope, hopefully, people don't know that, and I can just wheel it. I think I'm gonna take the Blood Baron. Chandra's Phoenix, eh? Is worth nothing. Artificial Hex is. Garbage. Battle Sliver is good, but I'm not red. <sighs> I don't. I don't like this pack at all. Mind Rot or Divine Favor? I already have a Mind Rot. I don't really want to. I could. 
I, I'm just gonna rare draft. Yeah. There's nothing I want here. Oh, I forgot about Steel Form Sliver. Um, let's see. It's a Mind Rot, Steel Form Sliver, or High Stirrings. Uh, I already have a Sentinel Sliver. Doesn't work with High Stirrings. High Stirrings is actually kind of good with the old, the first to Johnny. I think I'd rather take the Steel Form Sliver over the Elite Arcanist, which will be a bulk rare soon. Uh, just to go with my Sentinel Slivers. Charging Griffin? Whoa. That's a late Mana Wef Sliver. But uh, definitely Charging Griffin. It's a 3-3 three, three attacker for 4 in the air. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, eh. Garbage. Duress? Archaeomancer. So Duress for the sideboard. I don't know how main deckable Duress is. Huh. It's interesting, yeah, because if you can play main deck artifact hate, or enchantment hate in this set, which a lot of people are saying you can, then it's probably okay to run a duress. Um, the duress is obviously worse later in the game, when they've already played their spells, but it can also hit spells. I'm just going to take the divine favor. Shadowborn Apostle, no. Not good, not good. Ranger's Guile, pay no heed. Prevent a damage that was sourced to your choice. Uh, I think I'm going to take the duress for the sideboard. Uh, I'm going to hate the 4-4 four, four for 4. Uh, whatever, I'm not going to play the Congregate. But did all the black cards not come back? That's unfortunate. I'll take a foil. Wow, yeah. All the black cards went away, so I guess I should have moved into black sooner. Oops. Um, I don't know. How many do I have? I already have two mind rots. I'm just going to hate the hunt the weak. Uh, demolish? Yeah, demolish. And mountain. Ooh, <laughs> and I got the rare sliver. I can probably sell that for two two tickets, like, right now. What else is in the pack? Millstone's okay. Quag Sickness would be all right. Still not good with Ring Flash. Yeah, and it's even, like, the best card in the pack for me. Angelica Horde... Oh, just, never mind. There's a senior vampire. Or a senior... Senior, yeah. Uh, there would also be a Celestial Flare. Sentinel Sliver... Those would be what I'd take. There's also Condor is good, but a 4-4 four, four flyer for, for 5 is just awesome. So we're taking that. Uh, staff's terrible. Shiv's Embrace is good. Uh, yeah, the only thing... I think I would definitely rather play a Minotaur Abomination than that thing I just hid. And over... Dawn Strike Paladin. Um, the question is, do I have to cut this Shiv's Embrace because I don't have enough removal? Because I don't think the Minotaur Abomination is coming back because people were clearly in black. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I don't really want to play that. Uh, yeah, I'm a little short on playables, so I'll just let someone have that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Blood Baron. I don't know what... I'm pretty sure that's pronounced Baron, but I don't know. Is that just some sort of, like, European spelling of Baron? What is B-A-I-R-N? Oh, whatever. Night Nightwing Shade. Uh, ooh, what? What? No one is green. I wish the I would have known that from pack one, but this card is crazy. Like, I don't know if you played... I don't know. Let's just, this is just a Shriek Maw, or whatever, depending on when you started playing. Let's just call it a Shriek Maw. It comes into play... 
it kills a creature, and then it's a creature. Uh, there's also a Spore Mound, which is good. A Corpse Hauler. See, Corpse Hauler is very good, and so is Cockatrice. I don't know which one's better. In my deck, I probably want the Corpse Hauler, but I love the Cockatrice, so I'm just going to take that. Uh, what? Um, yeah, so I don't really want the Siege Mastodon. It's actually, it's not that bad, is it? Huh. Because it has five toughness. It's a late messenger Drake, I guess I should, I don't, oh, what? No, that was a misclick. Oops. So I was going to take the Siege Mastodon there, <laughs> but then I didn't. Uh, I don't really want to play that Paladin. Do I want to play the Hive Stirrings? I, no, I don't really think you want that unless you've got like the one of the Pump Slivers. File Rebirth is not really good in this format, I think. So... Yeah, whatever. We'll take the Hive Stirrings. That is a late... Blue is bonkers open. Oops. I guess I should have been black, blue, with an Ajani. Oh, well. I'm going to take the Undead Minotaur. The... Ring Flesh? Or the Dark Favor? I think Ring Flesh. And... I don't really... Do I want Mark of the Vampire? Do I want... Wall of the Swords? I'm not really very aggressive, am I? I just want to, like... Yeah. I, I'm not aggressive. Oh, wait. Wall of Swords cost four. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I thought it was the Angelic Wall. I was thinking Angelic Wall. Uh, whatever. I'll take the Uncommon. Oh. I'll take the Aura Mancer. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I'll take the Uncommon. And I took a Mountain. Okay, let's just... That's okay. One of those is fine. I don't know about two. Yes, 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 yes. Probably not. Sure. Don't want to. Oh, probably that. Yeah. Eh. Yep. No, probably not. So that's 25. I think this is a cut. It's only really good if I have... What's it? The Haunted Plate Mail. And then you suit it up. And then I have to cut something like one more I don't really want to play the ring of three wishes it's a little slow maybe if this was like a Garrick or I don't know Jace like something something that could win the game on its own not require other things to be in play um yeah so I've only got the one enchantment, so Oromancer's not that great. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't draft optimally. I gotta start thinking about what I'm taking. Siphon Sliver, the little... Yeah, like... I would rather play the Siphon Sliver, the Sentinel Sliver, and the Steel Form Sliver over the Oromancer. Just just because I think that's going to come up slightly more often. Um, but otherwise, I think I'm weak to four power creatures. Because these are my only two ways to get past them and then this. Or trading them with these. Oh, and Wall of Swords. Yeah. Wall of Swords is still good. Um, yeah. This is going to be my deck. 
I think the mana will probably... Oh, it's not that bad. It's only a Johnny that's double-colored. So let's just see what Moto suggests. 11-6. Let's see. 11 sort of the number you want to reliably have two of that land available to you on turn two. That's what I remember from playing with Elvish Warrior. Uh, yeah. So 11 6. All of my spells are black. Can't really function without black. Master Diversions isn't that good in my deck, is it? What would I play over it? Eh, maybe I'm just curving out on my opponent. Who knows? We'll see. This is my first draft. Oh, this is format. My first draft in a couple of years? Two years? About two years. So, uh, see you in the rounds.